Oh, nah. This right here is proof that the Furious Five are getting straight bullied. Your boy finally got a mic, so hopefully no more bootleg audio sound like a cheese grater. And since I watched the new Kung Fu Panda movie and almost walked out the second I heard Aquafina's voice box, I decided to rewatch the first three movies to witness some actually good storytelling with some good villains. And shout out Zef, he made a similar vid talking about the Karate Kid, but I realized that this applies to Shifu and the Furious Five too. The old man and his kids couldn't catch a break. Every movie they're getting dropped and disrespected. And I might just cut this into multiple parts, because if I go through how badly they were getting treated each and every movie. I'm scared this bit gonna be way too long. So it starts with Pope falls out of the sky and Uwe with his old ass points at him and declares him the dragon warrior. And you gotta understand that this is ludicrous. Bro's eyes were closed. He knew damn well that he was about to point in any random direction and hope for the best. Closed his eyes and hoped that Shifu wasn't looking so that he had an excuse for when he accidentally pointed at a brick wall and declared the dragon warrior. Were you really letting an old man with a walking stick decide the future of a nation? The irony of that statement is actually kind of crazy. But you gotta feel for Shifu. I'm surprised he had in his resignation and tell that old senile turtle to point at a tree next because I even saw a pig in the background I was in better shape than Poe. Shifu spent pretty much all his life trying to master Kung Fu to then spend decades training the Furious Five just for the fifth ninja turtle to point at a panda that wasn't even in the lineup. If I was Shifu, I would have gave Uguay a little push and he would have been pointing at Tigress or even Crane and Crane gets done the worst in these movies. This thing is trash. But Poe? Man, this is a nigga that was struggling to get up some stairs. Bro didn't even know he was adopted and his dad is a literal goose. And then Uguay had the audacity to be like, The universe has brought us the dragon warrior. Nah, bro. I'm pretty sure that was you. Bro's an elite gaslighter. Trying to blame it on everything and everyone except himself. Acting as if the universe tickled his ear and told him to close his eyes and pick Jack Black in a panda suit. Yeah, I'm supposed to believe that? You got a better chance trying to convince me that Master Splinter ain't your dad. If the universe could drop stuff at our feet, I would have a bottle of oil on Ruby Rose shaking ass. But instead, I'm over here making a YouTube video talking about Kung Fu Panda. And the craziest part is that no matter what or how much you disagree with his decision, you can't do anything about it. You're gonna go up to him and ask him why he chose a panda and he's gonna be talking nothing but straight IG captions. Ah, little nigga, there is no choices in life, only destiny. And destiny brought that panda in front of my finger. Master, your vision, your, your, your vision is messed up. You need a doctor right now. You know what? I'm not taking all this disrespect, so figure it out yourself. I'm leaving. Hey, bro, you can't leave me. You can't leave me. Tai Lung is on his way, bro. I'm doomed. <laughs> Uguay gonna make you feel like you're the dumbest person on earth, even when he's the one in the wrong. She really had to spend all them years training the Furious Five just to have to train Poe all over again. Like, bro, look at him. And I gotta talk about this, because not only does Shifu have to worry about how he's about to make Poe the Dragon Warrior, but he has to worry about him breaking everything in sight. He's done broke this vase in like every movie. In the new movie, they try to change it up and make it seem like it was Shen's fault. But I'm watching this confused as to why they keep fixing the vase. Just let them go. They done got tired of this shit. Them souls are soulless by now. But y'all bronze sexual thing to go back to school to learn how to glaze. Because when it comes to Tai Lung, I'm the master of this shit. This is my GOAT! My extravagant, astonishing, bewildering, breathtaking, stupendous Snow Leopard King, who was wrongfully locked up, was just like me! Going an eternity without a cut. Tried to comb my afro the other day and the metal pick broke. He breaks out of the shell and I know that felt like laying down on the floor after a long day. Too tired to shower but too dirty to lay on the bed. Makes you feel like this, but you'll be at peace laying there on the ground. The guards then decided to shoot crossbows down at him just for him to weave them with ease. And even use one of them to set himself free. The bird saw this and straight away wanted to go snitch. You can't trust no one in these streets. Now, go ahead and circle it and initial next to it for me. Wait, is he gonna find out? Bro had to say no and grab him by the neck. He knew he would have been cooked, losing his job and living out of a box for the rest of his life. The guards who shot the crossbows saw that it didn't work the first four times and decided that having brain cells is optional and shoot another one just for him to send it right back towards them. Tai Lung then hits the side eye and starts looking at the arrows all seductive because he's about to step on them hoes. He kicks them onto the wall, sending them up at stairs and catapults his way up there to start moving. And we get this cold scene. And he's doing all this just to run the fate with Shifu and his new orphans. I'm telling y'all, bro, the main villain of this movie was out here on a mission just to bully the Furious Five and Shifu. The guards try to cut the chain and end up getting knocked in the face. And he's been watching too many Tom Cruise movies. Bro did all this and didn't even win the award for Best Action Movie Star. Tai Lung swings onto the bridge and immediately starts to cook. I'm watching this understanding why Shifu is shitting bricks. Bro had every reason to be pissed at Uwe for leaving. You couldn't have went over there really quick and paralyzed him again? This nigga left. It wasn't like you had much going on, bro. That piece of wasn't going anywhere. You could have done all that yoga shit tomorrow or something and they got this man running up falling rocks in slow motion and i thought i was glazing but he grabs some dynamite off of a rock and throws it to finally break out of prison he then proceeds to pick up the bird and is like 
Hey man. Hey yo. It's okay. It's okay. Now tell Shifu that he's about to get packed up. Now fly, little nigga, fly. So after that happens, Shifu tells him that the goat is back in town. And everyone in the room eating noodles is fodder compared to him. The Furious Five, for some odd reason, seem to think that they can hold up against him, not knowing it was their turn to get bullied. They arrive at the bridge and instantly sense his aura, his presence, his brilliance that was being kept hidden in prison to not disturb the very balance of the earth. Bro thinks he's Gojo. Get off that nigga dick, bro. What is you doing? Tailung runs up to the Furious Five to run the fate. And my sublime emperor can't be going outside like this. Where are his kicks? Not even some J's. They got my boy outside looking like he's SpongeBob with his toes out. Oh, nah. Put them away. He charges at them and they cut the rope, trying to make him die from fall damage. But he has that 50 inch vert. Tiger saw that and immediately turns on the stove and tries to cook just to start a house fire the size of the Pacific Ocean. Went for the dome, straight headshot. And now they've got to hold the bridge together. Did all that for no reason. Tiger's standing there acting as if she's not the one that came up with this dumbass plan. Tailung standing on the bridge leaning just like this talking about the dragon warrior he's doing a bit too much if you ask me saying how magnificent the dragon warrior is i heard he fell off the sky and is a warrior like no other like settle down bro trust me he ain't going nowhere he literally can't run while the rest of them are in the back like is this nigga serious because tai long is moving back and forth talking about a fat panda so they giving each other the side eye on some uh, nigga stop me, moving bro. but we can't hold on to this much longer monkey started getting tired of all that moving and just gave bro the answer he wanted to go home Poe? So that is his name. Poe. Finally. A worthy opponent. And hold up! Bro was talking about worthy opponent as if he beat everyone else. Last time I checked, he got his shit folded by Uwe. I know his old dad left the lobby, but it's not like Talong knew this. Shouldn't he be going after that old nigga to get his lick back? But Tiger starts it off. Weave. No. Block. And they start boxing. Tiger tries to throw him off, but he hangs on and tries to take off her head. And he starts moving elegantly in the sky. Is this nigga mewing? Unk is out here wilding. He spent 20 years in a cave and the sun got him feeling different. Wait till bro finds out about them IG models. He's about to be real feral. Yeah, that brother's starving. Yes, sir. <laughs> he drops down just for Tigers to flip the bridge. And they get back to throwing nothing but devious hands. Talon grabs her, throws her out of there. And she claws him and kicks him in the face. Had bro looking behind him for support. There are five of them trying to jump through. Ain't nobody coming to help you, bro. You better figure it out. Bro needed his revenge, kicked her in the back, but then got nope. blocked. And boomed in his chin Stop twice, it, then it, weaved. But then he manages to get one back, and she started getting her shit rocked. Bro did a whole flip and knocked her back like 40 feet, and proceeded to use the bridge to choke her out. Look at her face! This ain't even bullying no more. This is straight up murder. She's getting packed up, and this frame is crazy. Like, bro, in what world do you need to be doing all this? Viper came for backup to smack Tai Long and crane nose dives to save Tigress. And I look away for five seconds, and Viper has him hitting himself like a four year old child. She just got into the ring and she's putting up the most points out of the whole squad. And she's got no arms or legs. But then a goat grabs her and has her like, help me. So Monkey gets ready to sub in. He's been waiting for this. This is his time, bro. He's ready. He ready. And he gives the rope to Mantis. Mantis. Look at this nigga. He's looking like that one dude in the gym that be trying to impress the baddies doing down more. He can't handle the weight. And Monkey's really foul for this because the thickness of one rope is the size of bro's head. And he gave him two. Monkey locks in and heads straight for the headshot. Saving Viper and putting Tai Long on his back. Just for him to revive and start moving from side to side. Mantis had to hit him with some of that whiplash. Shake the bridge and slap him in his jaw. And they charge right at him. Wasting no time. Monkey makes the first move. Knocks him back. And unlock that smooth combo with Viper to give him that nice crisp backhand. Quinn then cuts the rope. Ties him up and Tigress hits him with the Hadouken, which has him falling into the abyss. And before you get excited, this video is about the Furious Five getting bullied. So they're not winning, bro. Don't get your hopes up. He spawns back with no damage and absolutely cooks them. And I started to realize why Ugwe chose Poe. He had no faith in these niggas. Talong had less trained than them and has been in jail for 20 years. And they still getting folded to the point where they need to have Mantis holding on for dear life trying to hold the bridge. Kree managed to bring them back to the palace and bro. Pay attention to the way they had Viper drop to the ground. Had her rock skipping. Tigress over there hitting the Yamcha too. This is shameful. And then Shifu was trying to act tough. Talking about he was trying to strike fear into our hearts. But it won't work. My nigga, this you? Tai Lung will return. Oh no! Nah! Whose mans is this? He's trying to act like he wasn't begging for Uwe's help. We saw you at that peach tree, bro. You not slick. And then when Tai Lung pulls up on Shifu at the palace, it's got to be the craziest fight yet. Bro saw the scroll. He brought them to the scroll and even did this whole summoning ritual. She's one of the petals to take it down from the dragon's mouth with such finesse too. Carefully turned around and gave it to Poe. And like I said, we saw him read it. Poe clearly gave it to him and even took it out of his hand to read it himself. And we know it's blank. There's nothing on that bit. So tell me why he's still squared up with Tai Lung. Bro just wanted to know if he still got it. If he's still in his prime. He was trolling. He had no reason to do this. I would have gave Bro the scroll on a silver platter with his name on it who gonna stop me Ugwe ain't here and all tai long is going to see is a bad hair day but instead tai long teleports in front of shifu on some damn i'm 
not your day. Yes. I am not your dad. And now that he's officially back to being an orphan, he tries to turn Shifu to dust and even throws a boulder at him and sends him flying through the doors. And he starts chatting about how much of a hater Uguay was and how that old ass nigga was playing on his downfall, but he could have just made him the dragon warrior. And he starts throwing a tantrum to the point where they were boxing in midair. And what was Shifu's plan right here, bro? Cause like when Tai Long did it, it made sense because bro was the villain. He's supposed to be evil, but Shifu? This nigga is crazy. And then Tai Long used the fire to pack him up and had him laid out like a doormat. They even had him getting knocked back in slow motion motion and i'm telling y'all they don't get better they get packed up in the other movies too think about it have the furious five or shifu ever actually won a fight